What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm doing a little street photography. I'm coming to you guys from Tampa, Florida. It's uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're gonna go to the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. And today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do use the uh, Canon FD 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. So I'm gonna try something do, new. I keep saying do. Uh, something new, do a little manual focusing try some zone focusing. We'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Let's roll. Now that I think about it, it's probably not the best lens to use for this type of uh, photography. I probably should have used like my uh, 28 to 70 millimeter lens. I'm just not a fan of doing, using pro, uh, zoom lenses for, uh, for street photography, but they are good for event photography, so. Right behind me, we have the Eastern Rangers marching band all the way from Jamaica. My understanding is there's some other bands from other parts or other countries. So I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro, throw my GoPro on top of the uh, Sony a7 III and let's do some photography. Take a couple of test shots. Excuse me, can I get a picture of you? Thank you. That used to be my jam when I was like 10. <laughs> Ladies, can I get a picture of y'all? Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. By the way, guys, I hope my audio, this is the first time I'm using the Rode Wireless Go, and I have the settings like to the minimum decibel on the actual uh, uh, Rode system. And on the GoPro, I have it on standard. So I hope it's not too distorted. I hope you guys can hear it all. Uh, let's go check out the uh, Buffalo Soldiers down here. Let's go check them out. I had a girl she knew that had a fact that my girl was part of the All right, we're gonna go up, walk off the uh, main street here just to move down a couple blocks. We were actually over here where they were, the, the parade begins, so everything's being staged there. We're just gonna walk down a few blocks and then uh, see what we could capture down this way. I get a picture of you. Can I get a picture? Appreciate you, man. Thank you. I'm uh, just reviewing my shots. Uh, a lot of them look really good. I like the, the sharpness. I can't really tell because I'm looking at the back of the screen on the, the camera, but I noticed I missed some focus on some of them. Obviously, I'm doing manual focus and you gotta be quick, but so far, I think I like the shots that I'm capturing right now, so. This shot right here. <laughs> it's completely forgot one of the things with this lens that you got to keep in mind is the lens flare and when i'm shooting towards the sun i notice some of my shots have a lot of that flare Why you done that? 
former NFL Tampa Bay Buccaneer linebacker Derek Brooks. I don't know, I've been missing a lot of my focus here. It's manual focusing, I'm not, I'm not used to using the, the manual focus or even the, the zone focus on this lens. I think it's a little bit off because of the adapter and I didn't take that into consideration. So whatever the, the depth of field scale says, it might be slightly off. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. I remember you, you be doing a lot of vlogs for um, barbecue joints and all oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I see you there. I remember I, you shaved them, but I, yeah. I remember you shaved them. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he looked for me. Well, I dropped some weights. Yeah, I know. He looked for me. I picked it out. Appreciate it, man. How y'all doing? All right, man. Just, right, just enjoying right. the parade, man. Right. Thanks, bro. Can I take your picture? Appreciate it. All right, we're making our way back to uh, the car. I think I got a couple of good shots there. Uh, a lot of interesting people out here to capture. Just not used to the whole manual focusing thing. I mean, I, I've done, I've used this lens with my Micro Four Thirds system before and even with the Sony, but not like in, in this type of environment where there's a lot of movement, you gotta be ready and you don't have a lot of time. So that was part of my little challenge today. Get myself out here to try something different and have some fun. So we're gonna walk back down and if I see anything interesting, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. But uh, otherwise, we're gonna check the uh, shots out back at the house and see uh, what they came like. So I'll check with you guys in a sec. Can I get a picture of you guys? Can I get a picture? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Ready? One. One more. Oh. Oh, can I get a shot of you? Get a picture of you? Appreciate you. All right, so I've had a chance to review the images and do some editing. I did some slight adjustments to these photos, not too much. But I got to tell you guys, I made a bonehead move. I am so, like, ugh, I just want to just punch myself. <laughs> when you're shooting with these vintage lenses and you're using an adapter, you got to lock the adapter, okay? Because if you don't lock the adapter, the aperture ring doesn't work. So all along I was shooting at f1.4, wide open, 
And when I was reviewing my images or my photos, I was like, why are these images so soft or some of them were out of focus? And it was because of that, because when you shoot with this lens, the, this Canon FD 50 millimeter F1.4 at F8, in my experience, everything in, in, is, is extremely sharp, frame to frame. Uh, I used to use this with my Micro Four Thirds cameras before and I never had this issue before. So at first I thought it was maybe something I wasn't doing right with the settings in the A7 III. But uh, I didn't realize, I didn't, I didn't even bother checking that when I was out there. And I noticed that when I got back home. So that's why I missed uh, focus on a lot of these shots. I was out of focus on a whole bunch of these. Uh, maybe you can't tell here because, you know, it's online and it's in the video. But when I zoom in at 100%, you can really tell. You know, overall, I, I'm still happy with the images that I captured, even though they weren't perfect. It was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of uh, interesting shots out there. I didn't get to share all of them with you guys. So make sure you check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting stuff on there as well. But yeah, I'm gonna do some more videos with this uh, down the line, some more street photography videos with this lens. I, I love shooting with this lens. It, you know, it's a lot, it has a lot of character. The, uh, the images are really nice. Uh, I don't like the lens flare and the ghosting that you get with this uh, lens, but uh, maybe if I can get a, a hood for it, maybe that'll help. And also guys, when you're doing the whole zone focusing thing, you have that set zone, uh, you know, everything should be in focus within that zone, but keep in mind that when you're shooting with an adapter, it may not be as accurate. So. That's something I'm going to look into a little bit more, uh, especially when I'm doing like street photography. If you're interested in the adapter that I'm using here, this one's the newer, the newer Canon FD to NEX uh, adapter. I'll put the link down below in the description for all my gear if you're interested in checking those out. They are Amazon affiliate links. They won't cost you any additional money, uh, but just know that they are affiliate links. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to have some content coming from Panama, a couple of travel videos, and I got another street photography video coming from down there. Stay tuned for that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.